Hi, my name is Ed Hammerly, owner of NJ Renewable Energy. We are on my rooftop of my own home uh, to give you a bird's eye view of what my capabilities are. Um, I've been involved in sustainability, renewable energy, green building, electric car charging stations for over 15 years. Um, but I've taken all that knowledge and combined it into one thing, an Eagle Cap 1165 truck camper. All right, before we get started and I talk about my Battleborn lithium ion system, let's just take a quick look. And I want you guys to understand that all along the way that nothing that you see here with this camper is by coincidence. Everything from the color, it's white, which reflects away the sunlight um, in, the, in the summertime and reduces the air conditioning needs. Um, two, this is probably the most energy efficient or insulated camper on the market. Um, like I said, it's an Eagle Cap 1165. It has spray foam insulation, dual pane windows, LED lighting. Uh, we've tried to reduce our demand as much as we could, uh, which is also why I picked the truck camper. This is the largest truck camper available out, out in the market today, uh, but it's still small relative to a 30 footer or 40 foot RV. So when I'm trying to heat or cool or use energy, um, even though this, you'll see this camper is quite amazing as far as its usage of space, but I don't have to heat 40 feet of, of uh, space. I don't have to cool 40 feet of space. Um, it only has one air conditioning. So by reducing my demands up front, it's far easier to design a system uh, via ba uh, batteries that can handle the load. All right, so I mentioned uh, the history that I have and the, uh, the educational background I have on sustainability and renewable energy systems. And I also mentioned uh, how I prepared my camper uh, to implement a system like this. But the biggest question is, why would you want uh, a lithium iron battery system uh, to run your camper in the first place? And there are many reasons. Um, first, you could start off by saying, start your generator up at seven in the morning to make yourself a cup of coffee and see what the people uh, staying next to you in a tent think about that. Um, the other thing is in many campsites, it's either not, it, they're not legal to even have generators or they have time constraints and when you can use them. Uh, so that's one big reason. Um, I also like the fact, uh, I like just being sustainable. I like the fact that I can run most of my uh, electricity needs by my solar panels and that can go on for a long period of time, days, weeks, months, assuming that you're not using very, very high load um, systems and that you have the ability to recharge by solar. Uh, but one other thing that I think is one of the biggest things is quality of life. Uh, beyond the fact that generators are just blatantly all out loud and, and uh, disruptive is the quality of life. If I'm going to use your, your wife's gonna use at seven in the morning a coffee pot, it becomes very inconvenient to have to start the generator, run the generator, run the coffee pot, and then let it run for a little while longer so that you're just not damaging it or it's, it's warmed up uh, and then cooled down at a proper rate. With the, with the battery system, the Battleborn battery system I have, anything, anything that you wanna do, whether it be a cooktop or um, resistance electric heating, coffee pot, television, anything, microwave, anything that you wanna use for periods of time can be done quietly, quickly, and effectively and that is worth its weight in gold, okay? Now, there is plenty of reasons to use, use lithium ion battery systems uh, by Battleborn uh, because it is ultimately cost effective. There are, it will cost you more on the front end, but by far, I'll go through all the benefits of why you wanna buy these batteries. Um, but at the end of the day, quality of life is, is the best thing going. Um, and again, the, it, it will, the battery system actually is cheaper in the long run. You'll pay up front and it'll take you a little while to regain your, your, uh, your investment. But as I'll go to I'll go in greater detail as we move along here, uh, there's, no other, there's no other way to do it. This is the best way to do it. So let's check it out. All right, so let's just show you an overview of the layout of my Battleborn battery system. So let's start off by showing you where my system doesn't exist. And that's because this compartment right here is where typically 
you'll see battery systems on all types of campers. And the reason that is, is because lead acid batteries off gas and you need to have them on an outside compartment where they can have a vent here, just like this. Well, since lithium ion, iron, excuse me, batteries don't off gas, I was able to re uh, remove them from this location and put them in a space inside the, in the um, camper that was a void space. So not only did I now open up a compartment, so this, this compartment, which everyone knows and has an RV, knows that you're fighting for space because you're going places, you have limited space to put things, and when a compartment opens up to put things in, oh my God, you've just won the lottery. Um, I also threw in an outlet here, uh, hooked to my AC side of things. So if I wanna charge batteries, I have a chainsaw. One never knows if you get a low branch or a tree falls across the roadway or whatever the case is, you have a little battery powered chainsaw, charge the batteries right here. Anyway, that's another story. So let's sh let me show you where I have the batteries now. Uh, forgive my hand there. All right, so inside here is the battery uh, and the, the guts of this entire system. This is the multi plus uh, 3000 watt inverter system I have hooked to the batteries. Um, again, I'll go into greater detail later. And as a matter of fact, so everyone knows, if you're into Eagle Cap 1165 truck campers or you're into this system, I'm going to have two separate videos that go into great detail of everything. This is just a why you should do this and how I did it quick uh, version. So here you'll see here some plexiglass. This is where, this used to be a, um, a wood cover void space that had nothing in it. Well, I'm able to put my three 100 amp hour batteries in this void. That's how I opened up that space that I just showed you in the back here for a new uh, open cabinet space. It's because I was able to stick the batteries in a spot that had nothing. I put this um, PVC plastic here just, just as a good way. I can see the batteries. There's pipes in there. There's electrical wires. There's ever any leakage or of, of plumbing or what have you. I have easy access visibility. It just makes sense. So there's the battery system. Here's my, again, I won't get into great detail, a shunt, a fuse, a disconnect, so on and so forth. This is the brains of this entire system. Battleborn, like I've mentioned, has a fantastic system. This is just the one-two punch. This MultiPlus by Victron Energy is, this thing is absolutely amazing. At all times, it is deciding how to best draw power, where to use it from, uh, whether it's, it's just using shore power or solar power or whatever it is. There's tons of videos out there, read about it, fantastic. So that is basically it. My batteries, um, I have this uh, bus bar where everything connects and I have my brains, my multi-plus uh, inverter charger. And let me show you the rest. So these 300 amp hours of battery is a nice buffer to give me the ability to do a lot of things. But you always want to be thinking about recharging when you can. And the way I have this system set up, I have four ways to accomplish this goal. First is with our 300 watts of solar panels on the roof. Second is by our truck's alternator. Now, this isn't the fastest method. However, with long drives between distances, we can definitely put a good jump on our battery system. Third is by shore power, either at a campsite, at our home, or anywhere where we can grab power. And finally, by our onboard propane generator. I also upgraded my converter to a lithium charging converter. This gives us the ability to fast charge our batteries. Under shore power or a propane generator, we can fast charge our lithium battery bank in less than three hours. The Victron MultiPlus 3000 watt inverter that I have has a thousand amazing features. Uh, one great thing, including this display, is that sometimes when you go to a campsite, the power supply that they're giving you isn't so great, isn't so adequate. What's really nice here is I can click into this display and I can go to this location right here and I can control how many amps that I want the multi plus to draw so if I'm having problems and the, and the breaker keeps tripping 
not to worry. I set my amperage here for the day, the night, and hopefully for the rest of the evening, I don't have to jump outside and keep resetting the breaker at the campsite. I can also manage everything through Bluetooth on my phone. This also gives me the ability to plug in to any outlet at any amperage, 30 amps, 20 amps, 15 amps. I can set it and not have to worry about tripping the breaker. And if my demands are more than the shore power can supply, the MultiPlus Victron system will share battery power and AC power to manage the load. And speaking of managing current loads, we purchased this Easy Start Micro Air Soft Starter and installed it in our AC unit on the rooftop. This gives us the ability to even use air conditioning with our battery system. What about fire safety? Lithium iron, lithium ion, lithium any type of battery are inherently safe, particularly when we talk about cars and we talk about the lithium iron batteries of Battleborn. So we won't get off the rails too far here, but a gas powered car catches fire every 14 seconds in the United States. Batteries are safe, particularly the ones here of the Battleborn style. They have their own um, brain inside of them that will prevent you from doing anything stupid, overcharging, temperatures, too hot, too cold, whatever it is, they don't off gas. Anyone that tells you that these things are dangerous, you have to worry, does not know what they're talking about, period. So let's look at the benefits of these lithium iron Battleborn batteries. They have two to three times the usable power. They charge five times faster. They have the power equivalent of one fifth the weight. There's no maintenance. They have over 5,000 cycles. If you discharged and charged every single day, that would be 10 years. They can be used as a direct drop-in replacement. They can discharge to almost 0%. They have their own built-in battery management system. They're very safe. They don't off-gas. They can be discharged quickly without using, losing capacity. So when I first started this project, I have to admit I was a little nervous. I have decades of experience with construction and, as I said, renewable energy and so forth. But it's not like I've ever worked with 12 volt systems. And when you start tearing apart your brand new truck camper, it can be a little disconcerting. That said, whatever anxiety I did have was quickly dissipated by the experience, knowledge, and helpfulness of Battleborn Battery. They assisted me in designing my system, picking out the right materials, and were always there via email or telephone call or whatever to help me get the job done. Now the only thing left is for me and my family to start having fun. Here they come, right here. information about solar thermal and photovoltaics, we do residential and commercial, please contact us at njrenewableenergy.com. Thank you.